Judge Engeron pleaded with Trump's attorneys to control him during his testimony on November 6. J. Michael Luttig, a conservative former federal appellate judge, believes Trump's attacks on the judicial system are a lifelong pattern. Paul Rosenzweig thinks the 2024 presidential election is a referendum on the rule of law. Concerns arise that democracy's integrity is on the ballot, as some doubt the democratic institutions. Basson worries about the erosion of trust in elections and institutions caused by Trump's actions. Trump's involvement in a 1973 racial discrimination case was his first major legal lesson. Roy Cohn, Trump's mentor, played a significant role in shaping Trump's legal tactics. Cohn was infamous for winning cases through delays, evasions, and lies. Cohn taught Trump to attack, 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 regardless of the merits. Cohn showed Trump how to turn a case into Trump versus the United States. Trump's legal battles in the 1980s were a proving ground for his aggressive legal tactics. Trump used lawsuits as a central strategy in building his business and brand. Trump's legal squabble with Central Park South tenants showcased his willingness to sue aggressively. Trump's tactics included disingenuous offers, cutting services, and making exaggerated claims. Tenants fought back with legal action, leading to a $105 million racketeering suit filed by Trump. Trump aimed to intimidate lawyers representing tenants but did not succeed. Trump eventually turned Central Park South into Trump Park East, considering the legal battle a win. Trump's public stance was that the tenant battle benefited him by delaying the project. Trump's ability to spin legal losses into wins became a recurring theme in his career. Trump's history of aggressive legal tactics continues to shape his approach.